Hi everyone! So today I'm going to tell you guys how to get white hair. So, I don't know, I'm kind of, I like the whole style of the side had different color hair thing going on lately. And I thought it was really cool what everybody was doing with that. But I always wanted my hair to be white. Like it was just one of those things I always wanted to happen. I mean, I got pink hair around 16 and I always wanted white hair and I never got it but I just turned 21 so I can basically do whatever the hell I want now mom says so dyed my hair white now it is white like white there we go can you see it now good so to get to that color stage what I had to do was bleach my hair once which I bleached it once and it was like the color yellow, like this bag. And mind you, it is a bleaching process, so it's not only it's not a one time bleach thing and then that's it. So I bleached it once that color around. It was a little lighter and I threw in some of the Manic Panic Virgin Snow toner to get all the yellow out. And it did and it made it like a little more platinum y. But I wasn't happy with that because I wanted I wanted it white, not platinum. But it was okay because it was the start of a process. So I went to Sally's and I got this, the Wella T18 toner. And they said at the store that it was supposed to make my hair white, like white. And I bought it because I believed them. Now it was only around 5 or $6, so it didn't affect me that badly. And I went to Essentials and got this t um, developing cream, 20 volume. And it was two dollars well it was 180 but since it's such a small strip of hair that's why I got such a little bottle with this together but when I poured these two in together the smell of it and the chemical process was so horrible like I put in a like a little cup and my eyes were tearing up that's how bad it was so I put I put this in my hair for at least 30 minutes and it really didn't do anything to my hair and it made some of my black hair turn brown, like the black hair that was caught in it, that was near it, turned brown. I hated it so much because it's like I wanted only the white hair to change color, not the rest of my hair along with it too, but it did. So I wouldn't recommend this product. I feel like it does more damage to your hair than actually helps your hair. And I, it was just a bad experience. I don't like it. I would probably never use it again. It's probably going to go in the garbage after this. I just wanted to review it for you guys and show you guys this. And by the way, my hair is Japanese straightened. And it didn't fall out after bleach. But it was it's one year Japanese straightened. That's something else you have to keep in mind. Like, don't go and get your hair Japanese straightened and then right after we're bleached it because it probably will fall because of all the chemical process. But my hair had that whole year time period to heal and get better and everything and all the chemicals came out of it that it doesn't matter anymore. So I went to Ricky's and I got the Manic Panic Flash Lightning um, bleaching kit and it's 30 volume developing cream. Now, I got it 30 because I do have a 40, but I feel like the 40 is too powerful. And why is that? Well, because whenever you put in the 40, your hair does bleach very, very fast. But it doesn't bleach it all, like, in the same line. So it's like there will be spots of it that will be lighter, spots of it that will be darker. And you don't want that. You want, when you bleach your hair, a nice, clean, one-toned color going through the whole thing. That way you don't have to keep bleaching it. So, with this kit, which was really cool, which I really liked about it. It's lower in the top a bit. So, here's the kit. It came with the developing cream, right? And I like it because Manic Panic has, like, their own little design for everything. Gloves. Um the powder which I put inside of a little ziplock baggie that way it wouldn't like have half still in there so and even this has like the little directions on it and how to use it and it's like basically like a little cup to put everything in but I didn't use this because I just put it in a regular cup Whoop. put this back so I can reuse this again later on 
It also came with a little, like, appliance brush. And it was really cute. Like, all this came in this little kit here. And it was $12. And I think that's a pretty much really good bargain. $12 for the whole bleaching kit. I mean, the Manic Panic little jars over here that I said I use all the time are 10 bucks. So, 10 bucks for the hair dye. And this hair dye actually lasts me... <sighs> like four months I, I want to say four months like each little hair dye like three to four months depending on how much I use it like now obviously it's gonna go through a lot because I just re-bleached my roots and my hair is bleached from here like you can see all the way to my roots up so it's gonna be using more dye I'm probably going to be running out of it faster, but it's okay. So, I put it in, right? And as I showed you guys in the pictures, each time was 30 minutes. Now, I would wash out the bleach within each 30 minutes. So, I bleached this hair four times. Once, three weeks ago, and then now, right? So three weeks in time, two or three weeks in time, I let it heal a bit, then I went back for a second bleaching. With the second bleaching, first appliance, got like a bit of a yellow color for 30 minutes, took the bleach out. Second time, got the yellow color of a sticky note, right? Then I took it out. Then the third time, it was the lightest yellow that it could possibly be without it being like, it kind of looked white, but it wasn't white. And that's the color you have to be at. So, each time that I took the bleach out of my hair, I used the Shimmer Lights for Blonde and Silver Hair Shampoo. And this is actually, it's, it's kind of cute. It smells good. Not that the smell matters, but I know there's a lot of assholes that are like, it smells good. And let me tell you something. It doesn't matter if the product smells good or not. Sometimes products that smell good for your hair do absolutely shit for your hair. Just just saying. But it's purple. Purple shampoo. As you can see. You want purple stuff to get your hair white. So after that, the last time, I popped in this. The Manic Panic Version Snow White Toner. And I popped this in here the whole strip of hair and like put up the little hair clip and left it there hanging for an hour literally an hour hour N not 30 minutes not 20 minutes an hour you have to leave this in your hair in order for it to get white and I washed it out again with the shimmer light shampoo over there and it's the color it is now now I enjoy Manic Panic more than any of the other hair products. I feel like if you wanted to get your hair white, like, my hair is not damaged. Nothing has happened to my hair really whatsoever. Like, I guess you can say it might feel like it felt a little dry the first day, but now it's, like, been, like, I let my hair sit for a week and I haven't washed it. So I haven't washed it yet. Like, it's, I did this Monday night. So I haven't washed my hair yet, so it's like all, like all the, uh, my hair doesn't get dirty fast, but um, yeah, it's only been from Monday to now, what's today? Saturday. Five days, and my hair feels fine, feels great, and I'm very happy with it. So, if you want to get your hair white, remember, you're going to have to bleach it twice, and use the Flash Lightning Manic Panic, the Manic Panic version Snow. And then the shimmer lights. And these are the three things that you will need to get your hair so white. No, both of them are purple. So, yeah. That's how you do it. Um, I like using, I got, I get this at Essentials. And it comes in this little fat thing. And it's called um, Color Care. And what it is is it's basically like a deep conditioning and like this little thing and it comes it's a dollar you just rub it in your hair 
after you color it and it just keeps the color in longer but I, I rub it all throughout my whole head because I think like it's just it's a very nice deep conditioning it, it feels nice in your hands like it doesn't feel too heavy when you put it in your scalp it feels good I just love using it every so often I use it I don't use it all the time but it just it really brings a lot of health to your hair yes I dropped it <laughs> it really brings a lot of health to your hair and I think it's a good product to use um, what do I use afterward? Um, it's called Organic, I believe, and it come. It's like this coconut scented shampoo, shampoo and conditioner, and I use that after conditioner every single time I get out of the shower to keep my hair soft. I mean, my hair is always soft, but I always like to put in conditioner. I always recommend that. Always put in conditioner after you get out of the shower, like leaving conditioner. Just leave it in a little bit. It helps when you're blow drying it, flat ironing it, whatever you're doing to it. It just keeps it softer. You know what I mean? Your hair is your greatest accessory. You want to take care of it. And my pink hair here, it feels the same texture as all the rest of my hair. Like, nobody ever thinks that I bleached my hair because it feels like the rest of my hair. And like, wow, you take really good care of your hair. It's like, well, you have to. So, remember, ladies and gentlemen, whoever wants to bleach their hair white, that you have to do this in moderation you have to know what you're doing like if you know that your hair is going to fall out after the second bleaching I would suggest waiting a month or two before you bleach it again and deep condition it and like just put a lot of like hair nurturing product in it that way your hair doesn't get damaged the second time around um, I guess one thing I could say that kinda got me a little nervous was well after I bleached it I combed it wet and like a little small like ounce of hair came out but that's expected because you just bleached your hair so some hair is going to come out but I freak out whenever my hair comes out anyway it's just things that I do my hair just my baby I'm like freaking the Lady Gaga song in her hair like this who I am my hair is a part of me I love her I take care of her it's my best friend. <laughs> so anyway, that's how you get your hair white. Um, I hope that this helps you guys with your experiences on how to get your hair white. And I hope it becomes simpler for you at home to understand the process. Um, I know a lot of people use that product called Directions. I have never used it like, because you, know, you have to ship it from one place to another. And that's too much work for me. I'm fat. But... Um, yeah, I use basically the stuff that's right over here. How, how can I point to it? Okay, let's see. Right here. Yes, that stuff right there. You see it? Right there. The stuff that's on my table. That's all I use. All the time. It works. So, Try it at home, give me a feedback, ask me a question, I'll answer it for you. I've been using Manic Panic for years. Um, Manic Panic is non-tested on animals, so that's always a plus. Um, you can go on their website and they have all different kinds of funky colors. And it's basically, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's vegetable oil. And that's most of it, like, it's not harmful I have left manic panic in my hair for like two hours it does not damage my hair whatsoever it is all natural product there's nothing in here that's going to make your hair die or fall out um yeah so and try it out guys and in the <laughs> in the words of manic panic die hard or go home Seriously, if you don't dye your hair white, go home. Alright, bye guys.